All right, let's get started. Mr. Larson is recording this for the second time because he did not have the sound on. So our learning target is we can add positive and negative numbers. Now you might say, Mr. Larson, that says subtract. Well, just you wait, because if we look here to subtract, we actually end up adding the opposite. So that's like saying, if I want to do A minus B, I could also do A plus negative B. So subtraction is actually the same as adding the opposite. So let's dig into an example, okay? This first example says negative 12, subtract 19. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this subtraction to an addition, and then the opposite of positive 19 is negative. And if we think about it, it makes sense. I started at negative 12. I'm taking away 19 more. So if you're taking away 19 more, you're going to be going more negative. So if I start at negative 12 and I'm taking away 19 more, I'm going to go further away from zero. So when I add 19 and 12, I end up getting 31. But again, because both of these are negative, my answer is going to be negative 31. So if we did it on our number line, it'd be like negative 12, negative 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, da, 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 19 times till we got to negative 31. Um, so again, very similar. If we think about our rule of adding the opposite, okay, what's the opposite of negative 7? It's positive 7. So we kind of end up with two pluses. The way I like to think about it is this subtracting a negative cancels out and it turns into a super plus. Again, so again, you can think about it as adding the opposite or subtracting a negative number, but really it cancels out and it turns into just one large plus sign. So again, we would get an answer of positive 25. 18 subtracting negative 7 is really 18 adding 7. And we get positive 25. Simplify the number sentence. Okay, so I see right here, I've got that subtracting a negative number. So if I subtract a negative, it's really like adding. 7 plus 2 is 9. And I still have 6 on the outside, so 9 plus 6 equals 15. Super important to remember, subtracting a negative number is like addition. It's like adding. you got to simplify this all the way too, okay? If I stopped here... If I stopped here, that would technically be incorrect because we got to simplify all the way down. All right, so a new car dealership costs $15,000. One year later, that car now costs $12,300. What was the change in cost? Now, this is a formula that we're going to kind of use a lot, but you're going to take your new price and you're going to subtract it from your original price. And that's going to tell us what the change in the cost was, okay? Change in cost equals new minus original or new minus old. So this is my original, this is my new. So I'm just gonna start by plugging in some values. So let's plug in 12,300, subtracting my original, of 15,000. And again, hmm, I'm subtracting, 
okay, there's a couple ways I can do this. I'm going to think about it as adding the opposite. And now this just goes back to my our earlier lesson of when we said, hey, I've got two numbers. What's the absolute value of negative 15,000? What's the absolute value of 12,300? The absolute value of negative 15,000 is 15,000. The absolute value of 12,300 is 12,300. So we see that, hey, 15,000 is bigger and that has a negative sign. So I know that my final answer, because 15,000 is further away from zero, that my answer is going to be negative. And when I do subtract this, I get 2,700. So I'm gonna say 2,700, but because my absolute value was negative, my 15,000 is more negative, this answer is also going to be negative. And that makes sense, right? Because the car is worth less money. That's a life lesson. As soon as you buy a car and you drive it, you buy a new car, you drive it off the dealership, that car is now considered used and it is not worth as much. So that's called depreciation. You don't necessarily need to know that, but if you're thinking about being an accountant, that could be a depreciating asset. All right, let's take a look. In Fairfield, Montana, in the year 1924, the temperature started at 63 degrees at noon. By midnight that night, the temperature fell to negative 21 degrees. Whew. What was the change in the temperature? So we're going to take our new minus original, okay? Again, it started at this temperature. It ended at this one, which was our new temperature. So I'm going to say negative 21, subtracting 63. So if, again, if I want to think about this, adding the opposite, adding the opposite, hey, I'm going to go more negative. So I've got 21 and 63. I add them up and I get 84. But again, a negative number adding on to another negative number, our answer is going to stay negative. So the change in temperature was 84 degrees colder. Wow, that's crazy. I'm glad I was not alive in 